Are we explaining why I have malaria and why I'm in a full flop sweat? Melissa McCarthy exposing the realities of Hollywood by revealing the worst part of filming Gilmore Girls. I'm gonna cry. <laughs> no? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Yeah, the show, set in the fictional town of Stars Hollow, Connecticut, was actually filmed at the Warner Brothers lot in sunny Los Angeles. Sometimes we were like crammed into small things with coats on, but it was mm. actually like 112 degrees in Burbank. And you were like, ooh, Connecticut. <laughs> and sometimes those conditions prove dangerous. And when we did our first poster, someone passed out, like just out cold because we were all in coats, yeah. like trying to look blustery, and we were just like in a full, like, like sweat, sweat. <laughs> Like sweat in weird places and you're like, look cold. You have to get a show that gets on and then you have to get a show that maybe we'll get a good season out of it. And then you find yourself in year seven, you just kind of think, well, that's just nuts. You can't even, that wasn't even in the planning because you can't, you just don't think that far ahead. So it's, it's just been great. Melissa played Suki St. James in 135 episodes over the course of seven seasons. It, it's so, so positive. Like, people are really excited about the show. She returned for a brief cameo in 2016's sequel series, A Year in the Life. Yeah, the cops thought that I had broken into our house. Why? Well, when they asked me if I had broken into it, I said yes. It was so fun to go back to that. Yeah. It was really fun to see everybody again. Mm -hmm. And it felt like, I, I think it was even more sentimental to me and nostalgic than I thought it would be. Like, to see some of those sets and, to have all of us back there in that world again felt really lovely. Yeah, yeah it was it was kind of it was really terrific. Despite her long run on the show, Melissa revealed she's only seen one episode, the pilot. I'm also always afraid somehow I'm I'm something's going to happen and I'm going to be found in a room watching my own thing. So I I have a super paranoia about like I can't I can't watch my own stuff sure, in the house. For some reason I'm always like what if I pass out and paramedics come in and the takeaway is like <laughs> She was watching her own stuff. Pretty weird. And that list of stuff Melissa doesn't want to watch just keeps growing. She's been booked and busy in her time since Gilmore, most recently bringing Ursula to the big screen in Disney's live action, The Little Mermaid. Poor child. The sea witch? What has your father told you about me? You like to stir up trouble. <laughs> I'm only here to help. Just that she's such a broad, but she's also a stunted, you know, mer person. By the time I really started to put her together as a real 3D per character, I, I fell so in love with her. I felt such empathy for her. I also knew she does lots of bad things. 